We've recently looked at some major chords and dominant seventh chords. Now let's do minor. I love the E minor chord. Um, a minor chord is a triad or three notes, a root third and a fifth, except, oh, that's major. Minor, we flat the third, so this is what it looks like. Here's an E major, here's our G sharp. I'm gonna flat that by removing the finger. Now we got E minor. So the G sharp turns into a G, natural. So here's major, here's minor. So majors are written with like a, just an E, big letter E, might say M-A-J, or a capital M might indicate major. A lowercase m indicates minor, minor. Dark and spooky. So that's an E minor chord would be made of an E, G, and a B. In this chord here, we see we've got an E, a B, E, G, B, and an E. So there's three E's, two B's, and one G. Here's my right hand hitting the same strings. E, B, E, G, B, and E. Middle and ring fingers. That's going to be really important. Some books will tell you to use index and middle. Let's go away from that. Take, take that back. Don't do that. <laughs> because look how easy it is to convert an E major to an E minor. So these two middle type fingers here is a really important stance. and It's a nice balanced uh, pose. All right, let's go to an A minor. A major is like this. A major is made of A, C sharp, and E. Now we're gonna flat the third, which is uh, C sharp. So it's gonna actually look like this. So an A minor is A, C, and E. It looks exactly like an E. But it's one string over towards the floor. A minor. Can you see that? I'm going to show you with the right hand. We're going to pick through and identify the notes. A, E, A, C, and E. A minor. E minor. A minor. Pretty, pretty neat. I like how these two middle fingers just snap back and forth between them. See that? A minor, E minor, A minor. Same with major. You can barely see anything happening. It's hardly, it's very subtle, but that's because it's efficient. Let's do a D minor. Here's a D major. D major is made of D, F sharp, and A. A D minor, we flat the third, which is a F sharp. This note goes down to F. It becomes D minor. And we only hit the four skinny strings on that. D minor. how D minor and A minor and E minor all have the middle finger on the second fret. Middle finger is going to be on that second fret a lot in your guitar career, so it's worth taking a look at why that works. It just works well going from one chord to the other. So those are three easy minor chords. Now we're running out of options for real simple things. Oh, I'll show you a sneaky one. Here's a B minor seven. 
lot of times, well, let's just go with this right now. A B minor 7 is going to be made of B, D, A, and F sharp. This one, we're going to skip the F sharp, and that's okay. So here's our B root note, 5th string, 2nd fret, the A, 3rd string, 2nd fret with the ring finger, pinky, 2nd string, 3rd fret, that's a D. And we're gonna, I'm going to do my best to skip the two outer strings. The 4th string D might be muted, or it might ring out. That's your choice. B minor 7. B, A, and D. So I'm hitting the four middle strings. So we're really running out of easy minor chords, unfortunately. But I'll show you. Oh, let's do um, a G minor. Let's do a shortcut G minor. A G minor. I'm going to just show you the three skinny strings with your first finger laying very flat at third fret. These notes are B flat, D, and G. Three skinny strings. It's a good sound, but it's kind of hard to get into some big fat strumming like that with just the three strings. So to add a little more sound, it's going to be a lot more effort, but bring in the ring finger to the fourth string, fifth fret. So that's a G, B flat, D, and G. Now we can strum a little bit, four strings. work a little harder it's gonna be ring pinky index flat so I'm adding a D with my ring finger on the fifth string fifth fret pinky is still right beside it same fret fourth string so that's a D and a G now we bring in the index flat at third fret on the three skinny strings so we got a bigger sound hitting five strings sound we're getting close so there's a lot of options with every chord sorry to make this so complicated but if if the bar chord this is a bar chord these are difficult start with your first finger laying flat bring in ring try that get used to that eventually bring in ring and pinky here okay now I'm gonna drop the bomb on you I'm gonna give you the big giant G minor prepare it's your index laying super flat Super straight across third fret. You have to squash all six strings. Got to make your finger very straight. Look at it. Are any of the knuckles or joints bent? Like here? No good. It's got to be very, very, very straight. So you kind of got this pinching look here. Reminds me of an alligator's face. Alligators don't have bent faces like that. Straight, straight straight good now keep it straight <clears throat> you're gonna hit six strings here so it's laying flat at third fret this is really difficult for students look how I'm using my middle finger to help squash down my first finger I'm getting tired I've been playing guitar of almost 40 years it's wearing me out but that's how you get six strings to work you've got a G on the big string let's check it out G, D, G, B flat, D, and G. That's got to hurt. That's a G minor. Now the good news is, if you can get that started, you can also do an F, F minor. Just take it down 
two frets towards the first fret. F minor. Exact same shape. That's the benefit of the bar chord. While we're at it, let's take it up to F sharp minor, that second fret. G minor third fret. Let's call it G sharp minor at the fourth fret. A minor fifth fret. These are a little easier at the fifth fret because the strings are a little looser and the frets are closer together. Less tension. A sharp is at the sixth fret. B minor, seventh fret. C minor, eighth fret. C sharp minor, ninth fret. And D minor, tenth fret, which is about as high as I'm going to go on an acoustic today. So one shape gives you all 12 keys. If we kept going up, we could have got a D sharp and an E minor too. So that's a lot of work. I'm asking a lot of you, but give it a try. Now don't give up. If you play that every day for a few minutes, you'll, you can have that down in a week or two. Don't give up. Let's look at one more minor shape. This will be a B minor. We're gonna do an easy, easy version. This is based at 2nd fret, 3rd fret, and 4th fret. So that's an F sharp, a D, and a B. Three strings, three skinny strings. Another one of those great shapes you can move down. B flat minor. Here's an A minor with an open string. B flat minor, B minor, C minor, C sharp minor, D minor, E sharp minor, E minor, F minor, F sharp minor, G minor, A minor. Right there. So that's a three string version. Good place to start for this type of chord. Let's change it a little bit. I'm going to make it like a ring. I'm going to keep it very similar, but observe ring finger, pinky, middle, index. I hope you can see that. Ring is on the fourth fret, third, or fourth string. Pinky, fourth fret, third string. Middle, second fret, second string. Index, second fret, first string. Now you can strum four strings. For this shape, your fingers should be really straight down on the tips, not laying flat at all. So the, each finger should be curled kind of like a letter C. Curl. Curled fingers, pressing on the tips. Now we're going to take it one step further. Turn it into a bar chord. So that's first finger laying very flat across only five strings. Bring in middle, ring, and pinky. Middle at second fret, third string, ring, fourth fret, fourth string, pinky, fourth fret, third string, index flat across five strings. Index is mainly trying to get this root note. Can you see that? That's the fifth string, second fret. So the root is on the fifth string of this type of chord. So we might call it a root five B minor. The other chords, the root was on the sixth string. And this shape does look like an A minor here. And that moves. B minor, C minor, C sharp minor, D minor, E minor, F minor, F sharp minor, G minor. It's kind of tight from there, so that's as high as I'm going to go. So do what you can. You can use these partial mini shapes, three stringers, four stringers, five stringers. Take your time. 
this can be really difficult. So those, so recently we've covered major chords, dominant seventh chords, and minor chords, and some basic strumming. So I'm just trying to uh, make sure everybody gets a good start on your chords, and uh, take your time and build up a nice, clear sound. Thank you for watching. See you later.